and welcome back to Cooper's channel. Today I wanted to do kind of like a Halloween and Thanksgiving since it was Canadian Thanksgiving theme. So I decided to do pumpkin cupcakes. Now I got this recipe from a channel slash blog called Gone with the Snow Dogs. So I will leave the recipe from their blog posted down below. I've already measured everything out in front of me here. Um, so what you will be needing is um, your pumpkin, yogurt, cinnamon, applesauce, whole wheat flour, because it's better for the dog's digestive system, and some oats. You'll also be needing bowls, spoons, a cupcake tray, and a can opener. Now, I don't bake. Um, no one in my household bakes. We actually all really are pretty crappy at baking, but I'm going to try this. So I'm going to pretend that I'm good at it, and even if these don't turn out, still try it because I guarantee that you can do it. Um, I just can't. So the first thing you want to do is you want to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. The next thing you want to do is you want to add the oatmeal and the flour together in a food processor. Now because we don't bake really or cook, we don't have a food processor, so I'm going to do it the old fashioned way and I'm just going to do it in a bowl and see how it turns out. Bake it till you make it, right? I'm also using Christmas tins because that's all we have, so happy Halloween. Sorry, I should have mentioned that it is three quarter cup of flour and half a cup of oats. Can you want Sam? I'm gonna have a little bit of apple sauce. So the next step is to take a quarter cup of applesauce and mix it in while the food processor is going. I'm going to take that as um, mix the applesauce in while I'm stirring it. So, I don't know. It's not looking right. Is it? This doesn't look right. Yeah. yeah. I'm also going to have to clean up the uh, massive pile of drool when we're done. So, my conclusion that I'm coming to is if you have a food processor, use it. The next step is to add water slowly into the food processor so that it makes it like a dough, but not too much because you don't want it to be too sticky. I won't have that problem. <laughs> um, so it says two to three tablespoons. I'm gonna um, just wing it, like, you know. Could I slide the video? All right, um, so two to three tablespoons. One. I'm actually going to use all this water because that. Okay. So when you add too much water, it just looks like oatmeal. This is how it looks. It is to roll out your dough with a rolling pin. Cut out circles. We don't own a rolling pin. And Target is no longer in Canada, so I'm not spending money on a rolling pin. So what I'm going to do is take my mushy oatmeal with my hands and use a water bottle roller. So I, this is not right. So it does say that if you use too much water it will become sticky. That's clearly what has happened here. I added too much water so now I'm just going to add more flour. So what you do is you fold it into here so it makes like a little kind of crease or what makes a yeah. you know just put it in here and stretch it out Because what you're trying to do um, is make like a tart, 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 you know, I'm going to act for the rest of this video like you know what I'm doing. So now, once you have um, <laughs> uh, done this, which is supposed to be like a cake bottom, why can't I ever think of the word? You have to bake this for eight minutes. Once they have completely cooled, um, make sure you can get them out of the tin. So these don't look like how they did when the 
gone with the snow dogs did it but I'm at least happy that um, they're in one piece and Cooper eats anything right so the next step this you get your pure pumpkin um, this is two dollars so I mean this whole thing is relatively cheap and if you do it right that's great and you get a can opener that I don't cook or bake. Oh. You open. <gasps> Woo! Look at your arm workout. You open your can of pumpkin. You scoop pumpkin into these little tins like the miniature pumpkin pies. Pumpkin is actually really good for a dog's digestive system. Um, it's good as like a food topper if you're switching foods for your dog. Um, and flour is bad for your dog's digestive system. So the way I see it is this kind of evens it out. Plus, in my opinion, um, this isn't something I'm gonna give Cooper like all at once or even in one day. I'm probably gonna give him one today, wait a couple days. He's not going to eat all these anyways. I might give them to friends' dogs or bring them to work. Next is I'm just going to dollop a little bit of yogurt onto each of these. And it's supposed to act like whipped cream. Yogurt is better than whipped cream for your dog. Yogurt still isn't that good for your dog. Um, but this is just a dollop. Okay. This is my finished product. Hey. So they didn't turn out exactly like the other ones did, but <clears throat> I'm still proud of them, right? I mean, they don't look that bad. I thought they'd turn out completely uneditable for Cooper and I was just gonna give him like a mushed up ball. So I'm happy. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I put out new videos every week now. I didn't put out a video last week because I do work a full-time job and Thanksgiving for us was extremely busy. Um, anyways, you can follow us on Instagram. I'll leave that down below. Um, I'll leave our BarkBox links down below because, hey, if you want a discount, it is there. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week. So I'm giving Cooper one of these. This is what I do. <laughs> it's touching the ground.